is good to see you, Frank. How are you doing today? Oh, just great to be down here at Gly. So yeah, it's Frank from Exploring Nevada Mines on a big tour of America. And Gly, uh, he's been a fan of mine for a while. He's invited me down here to check out a whole bunch of mines in Arizona. So they've been doing a lot, he's been doing a lot of legwork and finding all these locations. And uh, we're going to go over here and check them out. Oops. That's right. I spent about a month down here, guys, uh, kind of weeding out the glory holes and the prospect pits so we can throw Frank down in some really, really cool locations. We just came out of one. It was really neat. You wouldn't believe how many bats are in some of these mines. But a uh, good variety of mines, all kinds of stuff. Uh, deep stuff, shafts, uh, inclines, you name it. There's a real good mix of everything here. That's right. We've got a bunch to show you folks. So uh, we're going to jump right into it. So uh, hang on to your armchairs because you're going for a ride. So with the help from Frank and his drone, we were able to get some really cool aerial shots of this mine. Right now we're flying over what's left of the old tailings pile and out there in the distance you can clearly see the old concrete foundations and pylons from the mill site. Now uh, this location was first discovered in the early 1900s but really didn't see large scale production until about 1929 to 1942 and shortly thereafter they shut it down. Off to the left there you can see what's left of the mill site, probably where all the ball, ball mills were. And then higher up on the hill here, Frank and I, there they are, we found some really cool open stope areas on top of the mountain, as well as that big portal you see there in front of you. Those are a lot bigger than what they look like right here, folks, and we'll be getting into those about halfway through the show. Then over here, we found another big portal on the side of this hill. You can see the large scale waste rock pile coming out of that one. And then they were out, they also had uh, rail and cross ties stretching from right to left across the side of the hill towards the mill site. And they were dumping waste rock along that also. Now, as we fly back over the mill site, uh, we're gonna slowly work our way back to what we were calling that day, portal number one. And uh, just to let you folks know that this location was producing 1.2 ounces of gold per ton and 2.3 ounces of silver per ton. Yep, there we are. So we're flying over old Bob and uh, you can see the crew down below us. So here shortly, we're gonna be walking into what we call portal number one. Okay, see you there. All right, folks, let's explore this old mine. Had a few shelves in there coming into the portal. I'm just gonna follow Frank in here for a little bit, see what we can find. So this is this is gonna be the tunnel that goes completely through the mine. Um, we saw that in the report. This is gonna be interesting. It goes about 1,400 feet, and up off of it there should be various shafts. Maybe we can get into those. All right, so we're just continuing to follow Frank here through the main haulage at it. We've got a few electrical isolators hanging from the roof, and we've got a drift going off to the right. Very good. Well, let's do the right-hand rule. What do you say? Sure. Follow me. I'm going to raise up here, but it doesn't go anywhere. It just stops right there. Like we're uh, so we're working our way down this drift. It's real dusty in here for some reason. We must have a bunch of bats flying around. Yeah, 
right outside there. It's like an air shaft up there. Oh, there's part of a tr car, I think. Yep. That's the bottom of a car. There's the axles. Hmm. Well, that's interesting. I thought I was the type of guy that took artifacts out of mine. You wouldn't be able to get that one. <laughs> We're just continue on, continuing on down the drift here. See if we're going to face out. And we got our first bat. Okay, so that one just faced out, so we turned back around and we're going to head down to this other drift. There was a little guy going off to the right here, so let's see what that's all about. Just kind of snakes through here and... Uh, Little cove off to the right, not nearly going any place. So when they're near the ore body, they just kept through these little tunnels. See if they could pick the vein up, I guess. I think most of the deposit is higher up than looks of it. Looks like it's right behind the land there. Well, these are all around there. These scavengers might have taken the box and the and the, ra and the wheels off. Maybe. So we're just following Frank back out to the main haulage at it right now, and uh, we're going to continue on down where this thing pops out on the other side of the hill and see what else we can find. I'm betting we're gonna we're gonna see some uh, loading chutes before we get much further. Yeah, well, we gotta we're gonna be running into a bunch of chutes. just end up going all the way through this tunnel 
and popping out and going to the other end it and not coming back. So this end we might as well check them all. Well, it looks like a shaft going straight up here. Oh, and down. That should be a wind, right? Yeah, we've got a be a winds to the right and something going above us here. Yeah, we'll just keep working around the... Oh, well, we got something right above us here. Almost walked right past it. Oh, yeah. Yep, we got a vertical Outside. coming down and some surface workings. Looks kind of like all these ones are... I don't know if they actually mine now, if they're just... And it looks like, oh, unless this makes a nice turn around the corner here. No, nope, I thought it would face out for a second, but it's not. Keeps on going. Yep, we got a bat trap up in the face. <laughs> but they must get kind of nervous. They don't like that, probably. Too. Yeah, they don't much care for. Probably more nervous than we are. Yep. <laughs> All right, folks, we're going to work our way back to the to the main haulage at it. So I'll meet back with you folks in just a second. Maybe that was maybe a storage box or something. I'm not sure what they used it for. Kind of a neat little box. I thought for a second there it looked like an old cot, but no, indeed, it's yeah. some sort of a door. Yeah. Okay. Well, we're back to the main hall level here. Oh, there's our first door chute. There, as I predicted, we'd seen an ore chute, so that's what's getting off. There's a lot of ore up there. Oh man, I think there's a razor. The mantle, I mean. Oh, does that look nice? Oh, it was a belt. Okay, let's see what's up here. Oh, that's not too bad to get up. Lots of air going up here. It's not that steep. The air is going up there, so that'd be the way to get up and top the bottom. There's other levels, maybe. Yeah, that's pretty neat. Maybe we'll go up there later. Let's see. Always try to find the easier, softer way first. Because we're lazy. <laughs> I'm wondering, you know, I always wonder if these are just for lights or if they're the charge lines for the explosives. Yeah, I think they were utilized for both. Yeah, I know there's four there, so. Yeah. Right. Yeah, and I'm wondering if that's going to be the only raise it might be. One way 
and find out. This should be a big part of the chat if they have yeah, I'm going to bet that there's probably a big vertical shaft real close here. There's an air door here. That's really a echo here. And it looks like the power came in from the other side. Oh, oh we've got a big split here. I'm going to find some interesting stuff here. Maybe. Well, there's got to be a shaft here because if there's an air door, they wanted to keep the air going in here, I guess. For some reason. Yeah, let's go, let's do this direction, see what, what we can find. So we're going to continue on down this drift. One of these has to have a big, uh, oh, four, five hundred foot shaft in it. According to the report. Oh yeah, there's an more bin. Yeah, so here's a there we go. Big ore bin here, so that's a, huh. looks, looks interesting. Mind you, dusty though. Let me see that. Nice door. Doesn't that look cool? That's cool. Need that look at that. Well, nothing in here, but we'll have a look. What was that? Wouldn't have expected that. Nope, nothing else. Part of a box or something. Nothing else. Well, did it. No, we're just kind of wondering how the miners got up this other level. And again, through this way. Just the ore came down, there's no man way. Let me try uh, going up this way, Frank. Oh, oh cool. Let's see what this is all about. It's kind of skinny. Let's see. Let me get up here a minute and see what it's all about. I'll get up there. He's got skin near you, probably at least five pounds later. I should have said Chris up here. Hey, Chris, this is perfect for you. Yeah. Yep. Yep, this is definitely a manway with uh, vertical vertical ladders. You can feel the air from here. Mm hmm. So uh, I'm going to come back down for a second. Let you take a look at it. See how scary these ladders are. We have a lot of See, no problem with Oh, yeah. These are the ones we like because they're too hard. It's got all these landings. No ladders, though. Oh, yeah, there's ladders. Yep. Oh, yeah. Oh, this would be easy to get up. You need to have two hands on stuff in case you fall. Okay. But, you know, there's no reason I couldn't climb up there. You just have to have, well. This has to be. Do with the camera, though. Let's, uh. Because you can't even put a backpack on, it's too, sque too skinny. Let's continue on this, on the haulage at it. Maybe we'll come back and revisit this. Yeah. I have a possible strategy we could use to explore GoPro explore that. If we had the, I didn't bring my GoPro, but if we had a GoPro, it would work. Yeah, I got this right. on my chest. And then I can go up there and maybe use both hands. Yeah, it's, so. a, little, it's a little skinny for a backpack. Right. The good thing about that is you only go like 10 feet, and there's a landing, and there's landing, 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 so. Yeah, so if you did fall or anything oh, happened. Bolt, you know, 10 feet, right? right. But, and there's timbers on the side, so if you got two hands for you, you can just kind of grab the sides of the ladder and it'll let you be fine. Exactly. But if you try to go up one hand and you fall, then. Yeah. Look at all this poof dirt over the. I've never seen so much dust. It's just. Yeah, it's really fine, isn't it? Really fine. 7 says. Chris, I'm going to put a. Uh, I'm going to put a camera on the top of your head and we're going to send you up that. Right. <laughs> Let's do it. 
So, so we're walking, uh, continuing on down the haulage at it here, following Frank. We're almost to the, almost ready to punch out the backside of this mountain. See if we can't run into maybe one more ore chute or something. Here, not too, oh, maybe a few hundred feet back, we ran into a big den of barking spiders. It must have been yours. I couldn't get I couldn't get them on camera. They're they're pretty shy. Were, were they were they smelly? They were quite smelly. They were really shy. Well, it must have been yours then. Couldn't have been one. <laughs> I don't know, Frank. You've been uh, you're, you're walking in front of me, so aren't you supposed to check those at the border? It's a good thing. Good thing because if I was walking behind you, my gas monitor would be going off probably. You know, us Americans, we consider those a uh, Canadian invasive species. Well, the bats like it in here. They don't want to wait. Too hot out there. And we're still continuing on down this lengthy haulage at it. A bunch of bats up here. Well, the bats, they definitely don't want to go outside. They want to stay in here, it's nice and cool. Oh, yeah, there's enough room for them and us in the same color. No, I don't have my rabies shot, but I do have a, I got a tetanus shot, so if I step on a rusty nail, I'm going to do okay. It won't help if the bat bites you and has rabies. No, probably not. No, but you can suck the venom out. Wait a minute, bats don't have venom. What am I thinking? Using your snake scars with your bats. I think so. Yep, just so sure. Do a little short walk down here and we'll get to the southern route found. <laughs> Got this! <laughs> you want to have me some? <laughs> yeah, where are we? Yeah, we punched out the back of the mountain. We got an eagle. We got some sort of an eagle or a hawk crying above us up there. All right, so we're going to take a moment and uh, just look around the backside of this hill, and uh, we'll catch we'll catch back up with you. Okay, see you in a bit. All right, back again. We spent a little bit of time out here looking around, see if we can't find any more waste rock piles. And uh, no, indeed, this is this is the this just punches out of the backside of the hill, and uh, that's it. So what we're going to do now is we're going to head back inside, and I really want to revisit that uh, vertical shaft and see what's up on those terraces. So we'll we'll meet you back there. Okay, see you there. Thanks. All right, back again. Back again, everybody. What we're going to do, um, we worked our way back to that, the vertical shaft we found uh, going down the left drift of, off the haulage at it. And uh, 
Frank's gonna toss his rope down in there and we can see, we're gonna see if we can get down into this thing. Well, I'm sure I can get down, I'm not sure I can get back out. I'll <laughs> oh, be alright. Not too far down. Well, if your rope breaks, Frank, I've got some dental floss in my pocket. I'll get you back out of there. Sure. It's safe, yeah. Don't know knots, tie lots. If you don't know knots, you don't know knots tie, lots. tie lots. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to do this in case you have to rescue me. <laughs> Alright, so the one principle you got to remain constant on these things is you got to make sure you've got them threaded right because if you thread them the wrong way, they don't do anything. They don't even slow you down. So, so this is what you do is you test it. Side's tied. This side's tied. Well, that's wrong then, right? Oh, that's right. Perfect. Oops, that'll do her. So, there we go. Yeah, I'm just gonna. It's kind of louder. I can almost go down. Trust the damn thing. We don't need much more. Yeah, you can get right up on there. There's the lever through here. On the other side. Yeah, right okay, so this is a pretty easy shot to go down. You see the snakes down there? Oh. <laughs> well, this is kind of a waste of time. The bottle's all broke. And we got a grand total of about 20 feet. Now there's any point getting off the rope. Nothing. Nothing goes 20 feet. Oh, it's good to got a chance to go down here. You never know, there could have been some dynamite boxes or something thrown in here. Yeah, I can't imagine too many people have uh, jumped down in here over the years. No. Ooh, don't get Water's not so good. So, this is a winds. Let me shut my light off. There you go. The bad thing is I'm not tied up very high, so I can only go up a little bit further. And then I'm out of, out of uh, rope, but that's okay. And I just climb up there. This is such a nice rope, this is red stuff. Here, can I give you this? Just hold on that for a sec. Got it. Oh wait. My uh I'm not gonna lose my rigging. That wasn't too bad. Yeah, it wasn't too good, it? <laughs> Didn't go anywhere, but yeah. hey, we got to see what was down in there. Okay, everybody, so we're going to head over to the uh, vertical shaft now and go up 
those sti or the uh, ladders, at least the ones we can get up, and work our way up through the terrace terraces and see if we can find. Uh, there's supposed to be three, or four more drift levels above us, so we'll meet you over there. All right, see you there.